Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Miss. How's everything? Nice. Nice. I'm in the school. Do you generally get home early from work? Sorry? Do you generally go home early after work when you finish working? No, really, no. Mm, all right. I told you you used to get early. All right, so what about the other ones? Okay, so let me see how many people are just working. Okay, so some of you are still working and some of you are just getting connected. All right, so I'm just going to load out the attendance list. Just give me one second. Ah, okay, Yoselin, thank you for telling me that. Good thing is that you're here. Okay, give me one second, I'm just loading this. Just to start. Okay, just give me one second. This thing is getting slow. All right. Well, this thing is 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 just uh, loading. So, how was your day, people? It was good. It was difficult. How was it? We're just 15 more days and we just finished this module. We are specifically right uh, on uh, November the 15th. So we're going to finish on November the 30th this module. So we are about to do it. Aparentemente ya les están pidiendo la documentación, ¿cierto? Para el otro módulo, si no me equivoco. But that one is going to start next month. I mean, uh, next uh, year. Okay, so let's just start over. Gabriel is out. All right, so it's not here. Guadalupe Noemi. Mm, okay, not here. 
Iris Cecilia. Okay, she's not here. Jorge Ismael. All right, not here. Jose Moises. Okay, not him yet. Judith Maribel. Now, okay, good evening. Uh, Carla Ivania. Present teacher. No, okay, good. Let's see. Carla Lorena. Uh, she's on the way home. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Okay. Kevin Ramiro. Okay, he's not there. Maria Elena. Present. Okay, good. Marilyn Alejandra. All right, so she's not here. Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, good. Monica Maricela. Mónica mm. siempre aparece con el audio desconectado, right? Mm. Ok. Ah, Oscar Armando. Ok, he's not here. Patricia Guadalupe. Mary, so she's not here. Roberto Emilio. Ah, he's working. Uh, Ruth Guadalupe. Ruth, are you there? <laughs> okay, she's there, but probably she got problems with the audio. Santos Cristina. Yes. Oh, yeah, pero bien bajito. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see Santos Cristina. All right, she's not here, right? Let me see. I am, and she's there. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, miss. And we got the last one, Jocelyn and Stephanie. Present, teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, people, so we are going to start with tonight's topic. Give me one second. Nah, this is the one. Hola, consulta, teacher. Yes. Eh, con lo que decía de la inscripción del siguiente módulo, ¿sí? yo recibí un mensaje ahora que dice que se les informa que el inicio del siguiente módulo será hasta el próximo año. That's, that's the information, that's what it says, the information. Perdón. Eso es lo que dice nada más la información. Uh, sí, ofrecen este, si alguien se quiere inscribir en, en un curso de marketing digital mientras, no, mientras empieza el siguiente módulo. I am, and it's true. Actually, they are not asking about an, any specific date. Uh, I mean, papers. Mm, let me see. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have any of those. Okay. Sí, eh, entonces básicamente ese es como un, um, say this, como un intermedio para que uh, usted pueda pues optar por otra, por, digamos, por otro servicio durante este tiempo eh, y si usted desea, así como dice la información ahí, eh, sí, porque el módulo estaría entonces reaperturándose más o menos a mediados o en la tercera semana de de 
uh, posiblemente enero. Ahí dependiendo de cómo estén, de cómo estén eh, con el papeleo, podría ser eh, entre esa fecha o a finales de enero. That's mostly all right, the, the, the time. Uh -huh. Bueno, solo que no pidan la documentación en diciembre, porque en diciembre, donde yo trabajo, solo trabajamos siete días de diciembre. Eh, no, no creo. No, 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 no. Por lo general, eh, es unas, un par de semanas antes de, de iniciar módulo. Así que posiblemente sería en enero de colectar la información. I hope so. Sí. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, in that case, that, that's the way how it will be. All right, let me see, let's continue. Pero Ruth, yo usted la veo que se mueve bien. Are you listening to me right now? Lo que sí tiene es audio bajo. Eso sí, el audio se le escucha bien bajito. Me escucho un poco cortado, pero se quedó congelado. Ah, sí, sí. Ahorita estoy captando. Sí, sí, tiene más o menos problemitas ahí de, de, de conexión porque medio medio se traba también. Solo voy a intentar no quedar en una mala posición. <risa> Ay, okay. Si no, okay. me va a hacer <risa> All right, all right. <laughs> okay, so let's start over with uh, what we are going to be discussing tonight, people. Give me one second. Okay, so welcome to class number nine. People. And this is the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight how to use will and will like to this is a very interesting topic because uh it, it comes like pretty close from uh, the uses of the auxiliary verbs that we have been discussing in the past so this topic i think is going to be like kind of kind of easy for you to understand and to put into practice All right, so even though one over um, is similar, you got only will and the other one will like to, they are pretty similar in, in terms of meaning. So we're gonna be discussing those ones, uh, those structures, and you're gonna be uh, making examples and doing some practices, additional practices and a couple of, uh, uh, you know, like exercises in the manual just to complete all right, part of it. So let's start over. What's the most relevant that we're going to have for the class agenda? Give me one second. Okay, what's the most relevant for the class agenda? We got the review from the previous topic. We're gonna to be discussing a little bit about what we were discussing yesterday, all right? Which was a very interesting topic as well. Then we're going to start over uh, the questions that we generally put at the beginning of the class, all right? Just to generate a little bit of discussion and more practice for you, additional practice for you guys. Then we are going to introduce uh, the usage of these two structures, will and would like to, and how to use them in sentences. You are going to provide me with some examples. Then we're gonna do a couple of exercises in the manual. And of course, we're gonna check those exercises in there before we go, all right? So this is like the most relevant that we are going to be discussing tonight, okay? So let's start over. If you remember yesterday, we were discussing about this, right? May and might. 
may, and might. What do you remember about this, people, from yesterday? ¿Qué recordamos de esa clase de ayer? Tomando en cuenta, pues, que estas son las dos estructuras. ¿Qué es ¿Qué significa lo mismo, teacher? Ah, pero ¿en qué momento los utilizamos o para qué? Para una probabilidad o posibilidad. Ah, ok. All right, there you go. That's like the main use of these uh, structures. All right. May and might. What else? What else do you remember? May is used to ask permission in a more formal. Mm, okay. There you go. It's more common, common in terms of formality. There you go. Okay. As uh, you were saying, look, both of them are used to express possibility and formal request. Okay. Remember that both of them are used for that, for the same function. And we got a couple of examples in here. Take a look at this ones. We have the first example over here. Let's see. Ivania, help me out reading this one. Ivania. Mm, okay, I guess she is not there. Jocelyn, could you please help me out reading this one? Okay, um, I may go to the store today. Ah, okay, very good. I may go to the store today. In that case, what are we expressing? ¿Qué estamos expresando en este caso? ¿Alguien me podría decir en este ejemplo que estamos expresando? Una posibilidad de ir a la tienda este día. Ah, there you go. Very good. So in this case, it's a possibility about going to the store that day. Very good. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Catherine, tell me already. Catherine, are you there? Sorry, eh, no los, me había movido, perdón. Oh. Eh, eh, Leo. Yes, the second example. Okay. She met one our phone for the My damage. damage, damage. Product. All right, she might want a refund for the damage product, all right? So in that case, what are we trying to say? ¿Qué estamos tratando de decir? I mean, que ella podría querer un reembolso por el producto dañado, right? So in that case, what are we uh, expressing? We are expressing a possibility, okay, about something. All right. What about this one, Mario? They may not provide a good service. Okay, good. They may not provide a good service, right? I mean, no puede proveer un buen, uh, un buen servicio. All right. Good. And what about the last one, Judith? He might not buy in that store again. All right. Thank you. He might not buy in that store again. Right, so what I'm trying to say in that case, I mean, que él no podría comprar en esa tienda de nuevo. So let's remember, in most of them, or in all of them in this case, we are showing or expressing possibility, right? 
That's what we are expressing in each sentence that we got there. Good. So I don't know, people, if you're taking notes about that. No sé si están tomando nota de las oraciones. O puedo pasar. Estoy tomando nota, teacher. Ah, ok. Please let me know when you finish, all right? Let's see saber cuando termine entonces, así para pasar la siguiente. Sí, se le tomé captura de pantalla porque voy en camino ahorita para la casa. No, ok. All All right, guys, you're finished. Now, okay, cool. So you have already finished. Let's move. All right, let's just start with this. It says questions to discuss. <laughs> Let me see someone that helped me out with this. Ah, these people are not working. These people are sleeping. Let me see. Can... Jocelyn, help me out reading this question. What will you do for the customer if a product? You after is not a good condition. Ah, okay. Thank you. Listen up, people. This is a situation from something that it says, what would you do for the customer if a product you offer is not in good condition? Supongamos que ustedes trabajan en una tienda, all right? Or something like that, something similar in a company who sells something, all right? Y ustedes tienen que vender un producto que no está en buenas condiciones, all right? En ese caso, ¿qué harían ustedes por el cliente? Knowing that you got a bad product or that the product that you sell is not in good conditions. What would you do, people? ¿Qué harían? I would like to have some opinions from you. I may change the product. You may change the product? Mm, okay, that would be an option. Good. Somebody else? Uh, I made a recommendation. Uh, a new product or uh, product similar in good condition. Uh -huh. Okay, good. All right, similar price from another product. Okay, it makes sense. What else? What would you do, Mario, in that case? Uh, offer warranty. Huh? Offer a guarantee. Offer a warranty. Nah, okay. But what if uh, the warranty? How can I say this? Let's suppose if the customer takes the product and the next day he goes again to the store and tells you, hey, Mario, the product doesn't work.
me dice que, o sea, solo mi, 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 mi respuesta podría ser varias si de repente llega el día siguiente y me dice, ¿qué pasa? Entonces, si le podría prestar la garantía. Ah, ok. All right. Mm, good point. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Ruth, what would you do? I may lower the price. You will lower the price? Yes. And would you and would you say to the to the customer that the, that, that that product that you're selling is in bad condition? <laughs> Or what would you say? O cómo le diría para, en términos así de maquillar las palabras, eh, para no decirle, mire, el producto no está en muy buenas condiciones. Si le pregunta, why the product is so cheap? ¿Por qué el producto está barato? Fíjese que a mí me pasó algo así. En una, yo trabajé en una tienda donde vendíamos de todo, ropa, zapatos. Y hubo un tiempo en que sacábamos ropa y zapatos, como es de temporada. En la temporada sacábamos a un bajo costo, pero era la ropa o zapatos que estaban como que ya no se vendían mucho. Entonces, uh -huh. les decíamos que eh, porque teníamos producto nuevo y que queríamos como prácticamente deshacernos ya de eso es que estaban a bajo precio. Pero también algo que tienen los zapatos, que cuando tiene mucho tiempo y no se ha vendido, este, tiende a arruinarse aunque esté en buenas condiciones. O sea, aunque esté nuevo, pero se vence su, la pega o lo que sea que, con lo que está, se vence, aunque sea de buena calidad. Entonces, se, estaba en buenas condiciones, pero se lo llevaban al siguiente día y llegaban que se les había despegado, se les había abierto. Pero era algo normal porque ya estaba como un producto vencido. Entonces, ah. nosotros lo que les decíamos era que ya lo llevaran a reparar antes de usarlo. Ah, yeah. Ajá, ustedes estaban dando como ese disclaimer. Mm, ok. Mm, all right. Good strategy. All right. Perfect, perfect. And you, Yuselin? What would you do, Yuselin? Is she there? No, I guess she's not. It. I don't remember who was participating before for her. I don't know if it was Catherine. Catherine, did you participate already? People, are you there? Hmm. All right, so these people are still here. not here. Okay, let's do something. Let's try to move on with that. Okay, the post the, the solutions you told me, right? Offer a warranty, make a disclaimer to fix the product before the customer use it. So this is pretty understandable. Now. Let's start with the first one over here. We're gonna start off with the uses of gold, or at least when do we use gold? All right, in that case, we have heard about this word, good. ¿Qué decíamos anteriormente que significaba gold? O cuando lo, cuando lo ocupamos, para qué lo ocupamos? Do you guys remember that? Para hacer una petición. 
to ask for a okay a request or make a request okay good what else ¿Qué más? what else do we use wool for Did you guys really remember? Okay, I guess you don't remember. These people have been coming less participative today. Huh. Okay, check this out. So it says, Goal is mostly used to express, listen up, possibility and formal requests. And also you can express a desire using goal, all right? Goal in terms of uh, translation is cuando agregamos el ia al verbo, all right? That's what you got, right? Any verb that you can work using wool, simplemente se le agrega el ia in Spanish to make sense or to make a translation, right? If you say will go, that's like iria. Will eat, comería. Will dance, bailaría, right? In, in such pairs of verbs like that. We got some examples over here. Check out the first one. Let me see who can help me out reading. Ceci, are you there? Can you help me out reading this one? Hello, buenas noches. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Um, we love to work in another country. All right, I would love to work in another country. All right, ¿cómo interpretamos esa oración? Me gustaría trabajar en otro país. Oh, me encantaría, in this case, right? I would love, love is like, en vez de decir a María, Ay, sí, sería sí, como, claro. me encantaría, right? Mm. Ah, okay. Exactly. And what are we expressing in that case? ¿Qué estamos expresando en ese caso? ¿Cuál de los tres usos que tenemos arriba estamos expresando en ese ejemplo? Yeah. ¿Ah? Exactly. A desire. Thank you, Mario. We will be expressing a desire. O sea, un deseo. Cool. Let's go with this. Check this out. It says, I will change this product. No, I mean, cambiaría este producto. I will change this product. All right, so what are you expressing in that case? We are expressing a possibility about something to happen in that case. And we got this one. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Judy, tell me a reading. Will you go with me? Now, ah, okay. Yes, of course. And it says, yes, of course. There you go. Okay. With questions using wool, is not With questions using wool, por lo general es como las anteriores que estuvimos practicando, en las cuales acá. Gramaticalmente es correcto decir yes, I will, pero en este caso no estamos dando en sí una respuesta certera de que sí vamos a hacer lo que se nos solicita. So in this case, what do we do? Generally we add, all right, these expressions like yes, of course, all right, um, in a moment, I would like to, so you see, and expressions like that. Right. Y no meramente el yes, I will. That's what we got in here. 
Good. So in this case, recuerden, would más que todo es expresar posibilidad, una petición formal, right? O solicitud formal, as you want to call it, and a desire, o sea, deseo. Those are the uses of would. Good. Another thing that you got to remember is that. Otra cosa que van a recordar es que después del would, siempre tiene que ir un verbo, right? El que va a funcionar como forma base todo el tiempo. Y es el verbo principal de la oración. Would viene a ser un verbo secundario que solo funciona como auxiliar, right? Would no puede funcionar sin otro verbo. Right? Keep that in consideration. Consideren eso. Will no puede funcionar sin otro verbo. All right? As a main verb, que actúe como verbo principal. Good. Yes? Dijo que la traducción de go es... Eh, porque no le entendí la traducción de go. Will. Mm -hmm. Will, básicamente, si lo quiere traducir, viene siendo como cuando se le pone a cada verbo la terminación ia, ia, ia. Si usted dice, I eat pupusas, yo como pupusas, right? Pero si usted dice, I will eat pupusas, ah, in that case is, comería pupusas. You see, in that case, that's the way how we use will. Teacher, siempre hay que hace ponerle el, el I. Nah, but in this case, el I es para hablar de una tercera persona. Si usted quiere hablar de otra persona, bien puede. Si no, no, ya está hablando de mí, ¿no? Exactly. You can say Mario will will um will win the lottery, for example. Okay. Uh huh. Or Ruth will work extra hours, for example. <laughs> nah, man, Ruth, you're dying, Ruth. You look, you're dying. Okay, let's continue. We have a couple of examples, extra examples. Check this out. It says, I will change this product. I will change this product. Mario? Yeah. Read the second example. He won't buy there again. Ah, okay. He will buy there again. All right, perfect. Let me see somebody else. But this is not there. Ivania, help me reading, Ivania. Sentences one. The number three. Okay. Uh, we won, Walden. Wouldn't, that's negative. Uh -huh. Wouldn't stay in this place. Ah, okay. We wouldn't stay in this place. ¿Cómo interpretamos esa oración? That's a negative statement. We wouldn't stay in this place. How do you interpret that one, people? Ellos <laughs> no se quedarían en ese lugar. Okay, good. No se quedarían en, este, en ese lugar, right? That's what it is. Okay, en este lugar. Perfect. Now, we have a just no question over here. For the thousand time uh, expressions, Catherine. 
Could you please read this one? Se durmieron, people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see. Who else? Maria Elena. Hello, Maria Elena. Are you there? Okay, uh, I guess she is not there. Jocelyn, tell me already, Jocelyn. Would you give me your information? Ah, okay, thank you, miss. Would you give me your information, it says? What is, what is the possible answer for that question, by the way, before we, we leave this, this space? ¿Cómo sería la posible respuesta a esa pregunta? Could you give me your information? Ajá, ¿cómo sería? Or what would you say in that case? If the question is just right for you. Only one participation, people. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Would you give me your information? No, I cannot. Pam, pero ahí estaríamos metiendo otro modal verb, mister. Y ahí estamos metiendo otro modal verb. How would you get that? Would you give me your information? Algo sencillo que me puedan decir sobre esta eh, estructura, ¿sí? O sea, la respuesta. Yes, of course. Repeat again what you said, please. Yes, of course. Exactly. Something like that. Like, yes, of course. Right? In a minute. Or just simply, okay. That would be cool. All right. So this is the way how we will answer to those type of questions. Now, move. Would like, mami. La primera estructura simplemente era para conocer el verbo would plus any verb, más cualquier verbo. Ok. Good. But this one is one specific structure. Acá ya estamos hablando de una estructura específica. ¿Cómo así? Ya estamos usando would like. ¿Qué sería would like? Me gustaría. All right. Me gustaría o simplemente gustaría. All right. That will be the, the option in this case. Gustaría. Would like. Ahí dependiendo del subject que le pongamos, pues ahí va a ser el tipo de traducción. So check this out. Let me see who can help me reading. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ruth, help me reading. We use would like to say po polio. Polite. Polite. Politely. One, politely. <clears throat> one, we want, especially when um, making offer and possibility. Impossibility. Ah, okay. Check that out. What it says, ma'am. 
Ahora ya entramos a la estructura del would like. Aquí, ¿qué es lo que dice la definición? Dice, eh, would like is mostly used to say politely what we want. Es básicamente decir de una manera educada lo que queremos. Especially it says when making offers. Especialmente cuando hacemos ofertas. Cuando ofertamos sobre algo. All right? And possibility, it says, right? Ah, oh, expresamos una posibilidad from something, right? That's what we got. Let's take a look at the examples. Carla, now you go home, Carla. Help me reading, Carla. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I would like to change my cell phone. Ah, all right. I would like to change my cell phone. There you go. What are we expressing in this case? ¿Qué estamos expresando en este caso? That we are expressing in a very polite way what we want. En este caso estamos expresando de una manera educada lo que queremos. Right? Good. Another one. Mm -hmm. Let me see who got the camera off. Patricia is not participating. Let me see. Iris. Tell me a reading, Iris. Ceci, are you there? Hola. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were sleeping. Mm -hmm. No. All right. La, the the, sec, the mm -hmm. second example, yes. And would you like to help your brother? All right. Would you like to help your brother? Ah, all right. You, I mean, you would like to help your brother. It says, all right. You would like to help your brother, right? So I see the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You would like to help your brother. Right? Te gustaría ayudar a tu hermano. It says, that's what it says, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put it again. Okay, basically, remember, that's expressing something that we generally want or desire. Aquí es básicamente expresar de una manera educada lo que queremos, right? En especial cuando hacemos ofertas sobre algo. Good. For example, in my case, I would like you to participate. Or I would like everybody in this class to participate. Ah, you see? In that case, it's something that I just want, okay? In este caso, pues estamos hablando de cosas que yo quiero. Just to put it like that. Perfect. So, now... Could you tell me something that you want? Podrían darme un ejemplo sobre algo que ustedes quieren? Right? Do it in a very polite way. Haciéndolo de una manera bien educada. Just to put it like that. You sure? Yes. For example, I would like the class to finish at 10 o'clock. Repeat again. I would like the class to finish at 10 o'clock. Ah, okay. That's something that you really want, right? Or something that you really desire. Unfortunately, that's not happen. Ah, we're gonna try today to happen. Yesterday I said the class will finish right kind of on time. Y le bajamos como tres minutos. That's, that's a progress. That's a progress. Yeah, Mario estaba así como que, oh, teacher, a qué horas, teacher? Cuento viejo, teacher. No, no fuimos más temprano. Yesterday we went to sleep a little bit early. Right, Mario? Un minuto antes. Ah, you see, ya ve, un minuto antes de la hora regular. Mario, by the way, how 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 you continue? How did you continue with the tooth pain? You feel better now? ¿Cómo continuó con su, su dolor? 
Oh, mat. Ah, really? Did you oh, go to did, did, did you go to the dentist? Me dijo que por dolor no me hicieron nada, pero me dieron unas pastillas, pero que tenían codeína y me hicieron mal porque se afecta en el corazón. Siento por aquí que la cabeza me salta. Ouch. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, to me. A mí me dieron unas que tienen amoxicilina, dice, y clavulanate potassium. Apparently, this thing is for infections. If you got pain, it's because you got infection. They gave me that, those ones. And uh, there's there, there are some pills in the pharmacy that are called anadent. Esas me mataban el dolor. Por como por cinco o seis horas. Con una, the pain used to reduce. Eso sí que creo que tiene que tomar unos cinco litros de agua al día. Because, awesome. because yeah. those ones uh, uh, bring, uh, I think they bring diclofenac or something like that. And they can kill your kidneys. Y pueden matar sus riñones. Bueno, toda la medicina, ven, toda la medicina suele ser mala en ese aspecto. Nah, pero ya le di la solución, Mario. Arránqueselo. That's the only solution. Eh, lo que pasa es que con dolor no. No se lo van a querer arrancar. Ya, yeah, man, it's true. That's true. Another thing that might reduce that one is the amoxicillin. Ah, sí, ya, ya tengo un tratamiento antiinflamatorio y, y, y antibiótico. That's perfect. En cinco días y ese diente, adiós. <laughs> you will see, me. You will see. Ah, se siente una gran paz luego de que todo eso pasa. Believe me. Quien no sabe que es un dolor de muelas, está perdido la mitad de su vida. El domingo antepasado, créame que me dolía. Mire, sin mentira, porque fue acá, me dolía la parte de acá del ojo. Me dolía acá, me dolía acá y me dolía el oído. Pero no tooth pain. De ese, de ese, de ese, de ese, de ese. Y ahora, ¿de verdad, Hamid? ¿Te sientes relajado? Sí, es, es terrible. Exactly, exactly. All right, let me see. Who wanted to give the example? José, all right, José, read your example then. Um. I would like to improve my English. Improve your English. Ah, okay. I would like to improve my English, it says. Okay, perfect. Thank you for your example, mister. Good. So we got Judy that she wants to go early. Jose wants to improve the English. All right, that's cool. You gave me the, the, the example, right, Carla? What was yours? I don't remember. You got the microphone off. So sorry. I would like to travel next week. Ah, uh, okay, good. You would like to travel next week? Where? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Yes. Something special to travel to Costa Rica? Visit my family. Ah, you got family in Costa Rica? Yes. Ah, I mean, that's nice. That's really cool. That's nice. Good. The family I have in other countries, I don't even know them and I don't know how to find them. <laughs> Including my father. But that's, that's another business. Okay, good. Ruth, don't be sleeping, Ruth. Give me an example. Según Ruth no la vi, man. Mm -hmm. Ay, Terminemos ya. <laughs> With your example, we want to finish. <laughs> okay. I would like to go to, go to the beach. To go to the what? 
Oops. What was that, man? <laughs> <laughs> Asustan por ahí o qué pasó. ¿sabes? No sé qué pasó. Pero alguien se cayó. Se asustaron cuando se vieron las unas a las otras. No, bibliografía. Se sí, ha pasado. All right. Probably they, they, they saw a Mickey Mouse there. With Jason. Yeah, man. A lo mejor vieron un Mickey Mouse por ahí. Sí, es lo, es lo más probable. Exactly. <laughs> All right, man, that's funny. All right, thank you, Ruth. Uh, let me see somebody else. Ivania, give me one example, Ivania, using would like to. Uh, you would you like to drink coffee? Uh, uh, repeat again. Uh, you would like to drink coffee? Is this pregunta? No, es que es que tenía esa duda porque es como decirle, ¿te gustaría tomar o o como una afirmación? No sé, ah. porque si fuera pregunta sería Would you like to drink? pero no sé cómo hacerlo como una oración. O sea, para que no se escuche tanto como pregunta. ¿A ti te gustaría tomar café? La idea. Ajá. O podrías tomar café, no sé. ¿O te gustaría? Es que está complicado el orden. Pero es que ya podrías, ya no, ya no sería parte del would. Porque aquí mm. estamos expresando hey. would like. Te gustaría. Gustaría. Uh -huh. No, pero en ese caso sería you would like, you would like to drink coffee. Uh -huh. Y también podría ser como pregunta. Would ah, you ah, like? Ajá, in that case, but in that case, it would, it would be like, would you like to drink coffee? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Exactly. All right. Very good. Somebody else, let's see, let's see. I don't even know where to choose from. Jocelyn. I mean, I think she's there. Jocelyn, are you there? No, okay, she's not there. Ah, Ceci, I guess you're there. Hello. Give me your example using would like something that you want. <laughs> um, I would like to work in a marketing department. Ah, okay, marketing department. Yes. Are you good at selling? Sorry? Are you good at, at, at selling products? Um, yes. Mm, okay. <laughs> yes. Interesting. Interesting. Nah, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Okay. All right. Jesus Christ, I don't know where to choose from. Everybody's with the camera. So let me see. All right. I guess. Yeah, most of you have already participated. All right, let's take a look at this couple of ex extra examples that we got in here. Check this out. Maria Elena, are you there? If you're there, can you please help me read this example? He said, Marcho. All right, let me see somebody else. Any other option, Jocelyn? Okay, um, I would like to play soccer. 
Ah, you're giving me yours. Okay, you would like to play soccer? Yes. Mm, all right. You like playing soccer, Jocelyn? Or is just an example? Um, a veces. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. That's cool, that's cool. There you go. Yo tenía hey. una, a mí no me preguntó. Really? Yo creo que son los primeros. Oh, come on, Mario. Oh. You don't turn on the microphone, Mario. All right, okay. do it. Ya sabes, está bueno. All right. Pero voy yeah. a hacer a alguien, a alguien que ofreció torpete la vez pasada. Ya lo ves. Ok. okay. Let me see who, because I have a bad memory. I don't remember who. <laughs> All right, good. You would like to eat uh, ice cream with me? Repeat again that question, Mario. You would like... No, no, no. Remember, if it is a question, opposite. Will you? Would you like... Mm -hmm. Would you like to eat... Ice cream with me. Ah, okay. ¿Cómo? Ah, tráetelo. Tráetelo. Would you like to eat an ice cream with me? Mario is giving an offer, people. A quien le ofreció un helado, dice, hace como, no me acuerdo. Por ahí. A ver, la persona que le ofreció un helado a Mario, who's there? Everybody suffers from insomnia, man. She or he doesn't remember. Who's the question for? Tell us. Or probably that person is sleeping because. Jesus Christ, boss. Let me get the cameras off. Yeah, I'm for sure. Ah? Quien fue? No That's recuerdo eso tampoco. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, man, it's true. Man. Yo tampoco, teacher. Así que cuéntenos todo. No, no me estaban ofreciendo la vez pasada y fue Ruth que hizo una pregunta. Ya que estábamos viendo eso, ya dije, no me se acuerdo. Ah, ah, ah. Eso me estaba tratando de formar una pregunta. Mm. Ruth, give the answer, Ruth. Pachito está perdido. ¿eh? No me acuerdo. sleeping, Ruth, that's why. Sí, quizás estaba soñando. Puede ser, puede ser. No, pero no soy tacaña, Mario. Ok, si es que algún día voy a llegar ahí. Ay, mire, mi oración era que quiero ir a la playa. Si es que, quién sabe. ¿Eh? Vaya, pero en este caso dice que ella lo va a invitar, Mario, así que ella ya, ya ganó premios porque usted la está invitando a ella, pero ella se desinvitó y lo está invitando a usted, así que win win, man, for you. Yo al helado y él a un pescado. Ah. <risa> ok. Ya no se hizo. <risa> Okay. Nos mandan fotos para darnos cuenta. No nos invita. Exactly. exactly. Yes. Yo, yo tenía una, una observación. Oye, la pregunta es a lo que estamos viendo. Eh, el Google Live se utiliza, eh, bueno, lo entendí así, como una forma de decirle algo con respeto a la otra persona cuando se quiere algo. That's correct. That's correct. Por lo general, el Google Like. En oraciones afirmativas es para mencionar de manera educada algo que nosotros deseamos, algo que nosotros queremos. All right. In positive statements. In uh, questions es más que todo para solicitar algo de manera bien formal a alguien. Right. Es pedir algo de manera bien formal. Like the way you did, Mario. The way you ask a Ruth, would you like to uh, eat an ice cream with me? I ah, mean, le gustaría comerse un sorbete conmigo. So you see, in that case, what are you doing? You are asking something in a very formal way. All right? Eso es como lo más formal que puede haber. All right? De pedir algo. I didn't listen 
anything, Mario. <laughs> no le oí nada. Oh, gracias, pues. Ah, ok, all right. I thought you were saying something different. Se deshace la invitación, pensé que decía. But anyways, anyways. Ok, good. Let's continue. Check out this example. Cristina, help me a reading, Cristina. Ya en posición. Sí. Mm. <laughs> que venía en el camino. <laughs> venía en tráfico. Ah, ok. Yeah, but help me a reading, Miss. Ayúdeme a leer la, la última oración, please. Teacher, help hello. us. No me oye. Yes, ya lo escucho. Ah, perdón. Ah. No, me quedó mudo y no oye. No, help me a read in the second example, please. Sí, como que se fue la conexión un momento. Uh -huh. Igual. Like to go to buy or to buy? To, to, to buy, buy, to buy. To buy, to buy there as a, again or again. 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 Yes, again. again. Okay. All right. He would like mm -hmm. to buy there again, right? And compraría ahí de nuevo. He would like okay. to go buy, all right, to buy there again. Good. Next. Let me see, Judith. They wouldn't like to come back here. Ah, okay, there you go. They wouldn't like to come back here. Here, here. All right, listen. Para formar oraciones negativas acá, no necesitamos de un verbo auxiliar adicional. Como generalmente solemos hacer en algunos casos, usando el don't. Remember? No, in here. Since will is an auxiliary verb, all right, we just put it like that, right? Just put will and then plus not and then plus like, right? Wouldn't like. And you got it like that, right? Good. So let's continue. Check out this example question. Mm -hmm. Jose, help me a reading. Yes, teacher. Could you please help me a reading the question? Um, would you like to get a refund? A refund? Okay, thank you. And uh, ¿Cómo es? Es refund. Refund, yes. Uh, well. What is a refund? No sé qué es. Reembolso. Yeah. Oh, okay. Generally, when you're talking about money, right? When you're giving back some money, uh, um, when you pay something. All right. And the possible answer? Yes, of course, it says. Right? Ah, ¿te gustaría un reembolso? Dice, sí, por supuesto, right? Yes, of course. That's what you got there. So this is the way how we deal with this as structure, right? This is the form, how we do it. Good people. Until here, did you have any question? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? From my pregunta anterior. I give on a sequence. Podría haber contestado root. O a quien se lo pude haber hecho eh, con, utilizando el may, yo podría haberme dicho may como respuesta. ¿Cómo así? O sea, si yo hacía la pregunta del lado alguien, la persona no podía haber respondido con, con may, con maybe. Maybe le creo, pero may ya no. Ah, no, con maybe. Yes, because like something, something, something you have to take into account, into account this. Listen, hay dos formas. Maybe and maybe. 
son dos muy diferentes. All right? Son dos formas bien diferentes. Wow. Maybe you're expressing tal vez. Tal vez o quizá. All right, y acá es como, ah, puede ser. All right. So, ah, entonces, sí. ella puede usar este. Sí, me he equivocado. Sí, yo había visto maybe así. Ajá, y creí que era el otro así separado. Pero no, sí, maybe. El maybe así unido, tal vez. No he dicho nada, ya me acuerdo. <risa> ok. Good. For example, you can say. Uh, that may be a good invitation. That may be a good invitation. Ah, eso puede, ver, puede ser una buena invitación. Look at this. Maybe that is a good invitation. You see, la forma de emplearse es diferente en una oración. Sí, ya me acordé que maybe es, es una sola frase para que signifique tal vez. Exacto. Me ha confundido con el maybe. maybe. Ah. Solo. Ah. All right. All right. Ok. Good. Perfect, people. Any question, people? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Something that you might not understand about this? No, no, ok. En, teacher, en definitiva, voy a decir este debería. O todo no. lo que termina en. No, solamente todo lo que termina en IA. Porque si dice debería, yeah. ese es su. Podría. Uh -huh. nah, ese sería cool o may. Sí, voy a todo, todo lo que termina en IA. IA, yeah, exactly. Todo verbo. Si usted dice eat, ¿qué es eat, Cristina? Eat, um, I eat pizza. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? Quiero una pizza. I eat pizza. Eat de comer pizza. Exactly. Yo como pizza. Pero si yo digo, yo Cristina, I, I, will, I will eat pizza. ¿Qué querría decir? Debería comer pizza. No. Yo debería comer. Yo podría comer pizza. No, tampoco. I will eat pizza. Sí, tomando en cuenta que solo es agregando el IA. Mm -hmm. Yo debería comer pizza. No, Cristina. <risa> ya me poncho. <risa> Check this out, Cristina. You said, I eat pizza. Yo como pizza, right? But the Yo sentence como... in this case is I will eat pizza. Okay. okay. La traducción sería comería pizza. Yo comería pizza, okay? En la segunda, I will yes. Yes, pizza. Okay. Exactly. All right. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. Now, people, let's jump into the menu. Let's go to work in the menu. That's what we're going to be doing. But before entering to the manual, I would like to pass the attendance list. Give me one second. Need to see how many people are there in here today. Gabriel Esaú. Oh, yeah, he's there, but he's working. Guadalupe Noemi. No, Guadalupe is busy, I think. It is Cecilia. Present. Right. Jorge Ismael. I am in Jorge. It's not connected right now. Jose Moises. Present. Okay, good. Judith Maribel. Present. Okay. 
Carla Ivania. Present. All right, Carla Lorena. Present. All right, good. Catherine Guadalupe. Where is Catherine? I saw her. Mm, 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 mm. All right, she's not there. Maria Elena. All right, so she's not there. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. No, okay. Yeah. Ah, Marilyn is there. Está pasando desapercibida. Huh? Yeah, I'm here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but uh, I couldn't I couldn't connect that at eight o'clock, but I'm here, okay? Were you working? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, you're on the way home? Yeah. Uh, in fact, I think that's 10 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, nah, okay, that's cool. Cool, cool. All right. Let's continue. Monica Maricela. Nah. Mario Ernesto. Yes. All right, Oscar Armando. Present. Ah, okay, good. I mean, Oscar is here. Nice. Patricia Guadalupe. Is it Patty here? I am, but she's as a listener. Let me see, Roberto Emilio. He's working. Ruth Guadalupe. Ruth. Present teacher. Now, nah, okay. Escucha. Yes. Este través se congeló. No, nah, hombre, este. Cambias internet, ni le creo. Y era como ha quedado usted, teacher. <laughs> Ahora entiendo por qué se estaba riendo. Ah. Ahí no me esté sacando stickers, me. O si lo saca, pues páselos. <ríe> All right. Good. Let's continue. Santos Cristina. Present, All right. Good. And the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Present, teacher. Ah, okay. Very good. All right, so I want we to go to the manual specifically to the page. Give me one second. I'm gonna place this one too. Oh, yeah, I mean, on page 25, open page 25, people. I'm gonna display it in here too. All right, this is the one. Okay, we're gonna start with this. Vamos a comenzar con esta parte. What it says in here, Waterlux Inc. Este es el nombre de la empresa. ¿Qué es esto? Esto es un refund form. Un formulario de reembolso. Ok. That's what it what is called. What are we going to do in here, people? Listen. We have in here information. Very important information. What it says. Sender's name and address. Waterlux Inc. Traverse Inc. 23, Glenway, San Carlos, ZA 0570. What is this? Note, it says. Number one. Mario, help me read in the note number one. Number one. 
Please not wireless customer satisfaction. Warranty nine ninety. Ninety. Uh huh. Ninety. Ninety days from date of purchase. Ah, okay. And specifically three months, right? Good. You did read number two. Number two. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Retain. Retain a copy of your rec records. Yes. Enclose the original with the merchandising. Merchandise. In that case, merchandise. Yes, merchandise. By the way, ¿qué significa merchandise, people? Do you know what is that? Mercancia. Merchandise means mercancia. Mercancia. Mer exactly. Merc yeah, merca. No, no, no merca. Eso se, se oye de otra cosa. Mercancia, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Good. Now, let's continue. Let's read number three, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, no. She's not there. Okay, teacher. I am in she's there. Use all one life for item, all quantities are to be reported in each space. All items return will recur, recur, recur? Mm -hmm. require the, require the original origin. Como Ori original. Original. Uh, or the number record on the for so credit can be processed. Ah, okay, good. On uh, the form so credit can be processed. All right. Thank you. Thank you, miss. So in this case, what do we have here? Check this out. We got the stock detail. And important is this. reason code, item number, you got a quantity, you got a date of purchase, you got a order number of the day purchase. All right, and then we got relevant reason. You mean in this case with relevant reason. Relevant reasons, all right. Reasons that are very, uh, this is redundant, but relevant for the uh, item that you bought. All right, you got the information in here, all right? And what is the relevant reason? That is missing some parts from the product. All right, good. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con esta información, people? We're going to use this information para contestar estas dos preguntas. ¿Qué dice? What? Are the reasons the customer wants a refund? ¿Cuáles son las razones por las que el cliente quiere un reembolso? Two. Will the customer get uh, the refund? Right? ¿El cliente conseguiría el reembolso? Why? ¿Por qué? All right? That's what you got to tell me. ¿De dónde van a tomar esa información? From here. All right? From here. Good, at least that is the first part of the activity that you're going to do, people. Good, do you have any question with this uh, until here? ¿Estamos claros qué vamos a hacer hasta ahora? ¿Alguna pregunta? Teacher, ¿de dónde vamos a tomar la información? Dijo para contestar la pregunta de... Del, del recuadro, Cristina, que acabo de mostrar ahí, de la información que está ahí. Mm. Todo yes. el recuadro de, de Sender's name. But exactly, exactly. What that looks. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Gracias. Good. All right. Now you got that, that thing, okay? Ahora bien, cuando terminemos esa parte, vamos a bajar acá. Check this out. And in here, we have a couple of examples, extra examples using Google and Google Live too. All right. 
But this is not really relevant for you guys porque esto es parte de lo que estuvimos viendo en la diapositiva, así que quiero que se enfoquen en el ejercicio 5, donde dice, complete the following statements or questions. All right, listen up. Statements or questions, All right? Complete las siguientes oraciones o preguntas. Okay, that's what it gets in here. For example, dice, I would like to. ¿Qué le gustaría? Ah, me lo va a poner acá. Will she, recuerde que acá sí dice will she, y esta will antes de she, significa que es una pregunta. All right. She weren't, aquí se equivocaron. Aquí sería wouldn't. Give me one second. And here would be she. It would be like this. Sería de ese modo. Y luego lo que ustedes le van a colocar como verbo principal y complemento. All right. For example, si decimos acá, I would like to drink a cup of coffee. Pero el número 6 también, teacher. All right. Good. Exactly. Acá igual, en la número 6 dice world. Thank you, mister. Aquí sería world. All right. Ese world es de mundo. No sé por qué lo pusieron así. All right. But anyways, well, we're not going to pay attention to this one, right? Good. Así que enfoquémonos en esas partes. El, el complemento y el verbo principal van a ser libres de escoger por ustedes mismos. All right. Y cuando ya terminemos esto, vamos a terminar acá, ya con esto. All right, we're going to end up and put an end to the, to the structure and the activities. Dice, write a five lines paragraph about what you will do in case the, a customer wants a refund due to a bad service or the product he she paid for. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Acá vamos a escribir un pequeño párrafo de cinco líneas, dice. Sobre, listen, sobre qué harían usted All right. En caso de que un cliente quiera un reembolso debido a un mal servicio. All right. That's what we're going to do here. ¿Qué usted haría en ese caso? All right. Aparte de quererlo colgar. All right. Any question? Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Y no, Ruth, no se puede dormir todavía. Si eso cuenta como pregunta, no. Hasta las 10. Ok. Good. No questions. All right, people. If you don't have no questions, let's go to practice. Give me one second. I'm going to create the groups, pero necesito saber quiénes son los que están activos porque de pronto tienen la cámara bien apagada y no me responden y no lo hacen y no lo hacen. Está la lista de asistencia. Vamos a ver. All right, Jose is up, up to. Thank you, Jose. Jocelyn, can you participate? Jocelyn. Yo sí, yo sí, yo sí. Lo siento, es que ando ahorita trapeando, por eso no he puesto la cámara, pero sí voy a participar. Ah, uh, okay, good, good. All right, Jocelyn, thank you for telling me. Patty didn't answer, probably she's working. Gabriel is working. Maria Elena. What about you, Maria Elena? Are you going to participate? No, dice, I won't participate. No, 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 she hasn't replied. Probably she's doing something else. Probably she's busy or probably she's sleeping. I don't know. Good, Monica. So, Mejor ni le pregunto. Uh, Ceci. Hello. I am it. She's there. Ceci, sí, ahí está. All right. Oscar, can you participate? Perfect, Oscar. So, I'm going to create the groups now. Mm-hmm. 
Let me see. Wait, I'm not sure. Give me one second, people. Maria Mosca, let me see. Let's see. I am just doing some changes in here. Give me one second. Give me one second, Gabriel. Yeah, let me exchange this one to number two. Okay, good. Open up all the breakout rooms, people, and let's go to work. Cristina, acepte el entrar al breakout room. Cristina. Dele aceptar, Cristina. Pero yo, yo sí la escucho a usted. Ay, Dios mío. All right, Cristina. Hello, teacher. Hoy ya le oigo, no le escuchaba nada. All right. Este, eh. Ya me uní, ya me uní, pero no sé qué pasó. Eh, le presioné ahí unirse, pero no sé qué pasó. Ok, permítame, lo voy a tratar de unir otra vez. Ok. Dele. Eh. Me asustó, 
de repente apareció. <risa> La dos significa eh, por, eh, porque el, el, el cliente quiere reembolso. Ah, ¿por qué? Uh, quiero ver. Primero es si tendría un reembolso, creo. Would, ajá, porque dice Would ah, the sí, customer. Que, ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Podría el cliente tener su reembolso? Que nosotros tenemos que poner sí o no y por qué. Ajá. Perfecto. Entonces creo que sería sí. ¿Verdad? ¿O qué dijiste? Porque según... Aquí estoy en, en español está contestando. <risa> y como el teacher está dormido, no se va a dar cuenta. Dije. Mm -hmm, sí, yeah, sure. <risa> Aquí con ¿Cómo está más? ¿Por qué esa la razón? ¿O hay otra razón? Que no ¿Por qué está defectuoso? Porque si le faltan partes, está defectuoso. Ah, sí, ahí le puso, ajá. ¿huh? Está bien así, es lo mismo. Es porque faltan partes en el producto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero podríamos poner... Sí, porque la orden sí, es la dos, en la dos dice que si el cliente va a recibir el reembolso y, ¿Y por qué, qué? Okay. Eh, podría ser en mi lógica, vea, pero como hay que contestar conforme a lo que está aquí, eh, yo le ofrecería un descuento. No, no reembolsarle todo porque solo le faltan unas partes, no le falta todo. No, no, pero pero... La, idea, la idea de la pregunta, bueno, yo la entiendo así, que dice, eh, ¿cuál es? Eh, va a recibir, es una pregunta, ¿va a recibir el cliente el, el reembolso y por qué? Entonces le ponemos ahí porque le hicieron falta una parte. O no sería... sé qué le ocurrió. This producto performance. Producto faltante. Ajá. Ah, Porque eh, producto habría, habría... producto faltante. Bueno, no sé si, Ajá. si sería bueno leer todo el contexto. Si nos vamos aquí a la. A la. Quizá voy. Veo más de lo que debería de ver, pero. Vamos aquí a, la, a las razones por las cuales le pueden dar un, cubrir una garantía. Dice que, que la cure 90 días después de la venta. Habría que ver. No veo la. Quiero ver, la otra podría ser. Esa sería pregunta. Ajá, a ella le. A ella le gustaría. No sé, trabajar sábado. Sería. Entonces, a ella le gustaría. Es, ¿Would she? Le gustaría she ajá. ¿Would she like to work Saturday? Ajá. Sí, va. Bueno. Good, she like to work Saturday. I see what. Now the city, yeah. We must connect. 
Ahí sería... Hola, Ceci, no la escucho. Hola, hola. Hola, ahora sí. A ver, pues sí. Entonces... No se escucha, Ceci. ¿Ahora? Ahora sí. Mm, vaya, pues sí. ¿Cómo te quedó entonces? Aún no. ¿El cliente o íbamos a ponerle algo diferente? ¿Cómo? Hola. Ay. ¿Qué pasa, teacher? No sé. Es que este a ver, le le, no le funciona algo. A ah, Judith está <ríe> activa. Usted pues empieza a hablar. <ríe> no sé qué dónde salió Judith. Ay, no. <ríe> no sé qué pasa. <ríe> no sé, creo que tiene problemas de, de internet. Sí, es Bien ah, no, she's there. Ahora sí. Pues sí. Vaya, ahora creo que sí. No sé, no podía escribir en mi computadora, estaba el teclado raro. Yo creo que quizás se nos puso lento porque tratamos de manipularlo las dos. Vaya, entonces. Eh, sería la, ¿Cuáles son las razones por las que quieren el reembolso? Porque el producto está incompleto, porque el producto le faltan partes. Uh -huh. La otra es la calidad. That is punch, but it's funny. <laughs> Sí. Ay, estaba pensando en cosas medio sad y nada más veo se pone medio risa ya ve para animarlo es uh -huh. funny <risa> mm. alright so you're in the first the first thing right answering the the questions Sí. Of questions, all right. Perfect. Judith. Hola. ¿Cómo te quedó? Ah. 
Ah, voy a compartir el pantalla. Vaya. Así, ah, porque el producto le faltan piezas y por la calidad del producto. No encuentro más razón. Vaya. Well, the customer gets very fun. <coughs> en la de abajo podemos poner si sí, deberían tomar el reembolso. Uh, el producto ahí podría ser ya podría ser have missing parts ¿cómo? ¿Ya? podría ser have missing parts will the customer get a refund? yes of course because the product have uh, Missing parts. Mm, my has sense. Okay. Mm, let me see. I'm gonna reread that again. Vaya. Entonces veamos la de abajo. Yo estaba elaborando esas. En el número uno, t-shirt está correcto. Let me see. Number one. Yes. But it says number one. Give me I one second. I would like to buy. Da, 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 da. There is an added satisfaction and profit of performance. Jesus Christ, what did I touch? Ah, here. Ah, uh, <laughs> Mr. Trujillo wouldn't work on Saturday. En la cuatro puede ser Judith. We would like to eat pizza. Would you like to? Y en la seis, would you like to? Um, Podría ser dance with me o oh, wow. Esa está en la dos, tres. Entonces podría ser would you like to walk de caminar with me? De caminar. Walk. Walk. ¿Lo puede deletrear? W A L A um, Would you like to te gustaría ¿Qué? ¿Te gustaría hacer la cena o te gustaría cocinar? Mm. 
<laughs> Pues, va. yes, of course. <laughs> What happened, people? <laughs> Vaya, este, ya están. No sé, ahí algunas dicho, bueno, en esa tengo dudas. Sería así, ¿verdad? Teacher. We'd like to visit our family. Uh huh. All right. Good. Okay. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't like to go to work. Okay. To go to work. Ah, oh, ah, oh, okay. Eh, es que las que ya están con el, 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 por ejemplo, wouldn't. Esas ya no es necesario ponerle el like. Aunque bueno, así estaría bien también. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't like to go to work. Ajá, uh -huh, that's okay. Así puede dejarla. Okay. Y esta. As... Would she like a... Do, She wouldn't get up early. She... Would she like to do exercise tomorrow? Yeah, that's okay too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí, ahí era opcional. O bien le podían poner like o, o, o un verbo adicional nada O oh, más. cualquier otro verbo. Exactly. Ajá. Exactly. That's cool. O solo podría ser así, ¿verdad? Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. Y la primera parte es esta. All right. Mm, the reason is It is impossible to product just because they already is incomplete. Uh huh. That's okay. There you go. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Good. Solo falta el último montón. ¿Cuál? Ah, ah. Le puse I Mr. Trujillo were not. To go that restaurant. Go to that, that that's it. restaurant. That, that restaurant. El señor Trujillo no iré a ese restaurante. Sí. Sí. Exercise. Will not uh, go to uh, that ex exercise. Vamos a ver entonces qué pasa. No es tu budo exercise. Budo, tu budo, ajá. Digo yo. Exercise. Sí, exercise. Ajá, exercise. Se, se escribe exercise, pero se pronuncia exercise. Exercise. Sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Luego seguimos con la tres, vean. La tres. Uh, World Chief. World Chief. ¿Podría ella caminar? ¿Podría ella ir al gimnasio? Well, she, wow, se, se grilla, va. Ah, wow, ajá. Uh -huh. Damn it, nobody's here.
cool, cool chi de ella, vean. Cool chi go to the gym. Bueno, voy a poner así, no hay que me corrija, hay que me corrija el tip. Así. Go. Go chi go to the gym. Do, uh, was, ah, si le salió a usted porque a mí me salió Pulchi Paul, vea Paul Pulchi, go to the gym Así como está ahí escrito Go to the gym Ajá Sí, que ya sí salí, ajá Era suyo sí. eh, Go to play eh, Tennis in the Friday Mm -hmm. Play tennis in the in Friday. Ah, sí, in the Friday. Friday. Sí, a viernes, va. Friday. Friday, ajá. Okay, are you about to finish? Mm, sí, solo nos falta una línea. Mm. Okay. Eh, Tuve una oración cinco. Está correcto así. Uh, uh, by bus, sería. By bus. Oh. Viajar en bus. Uh, uh, huh? mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like this. Okay. All right, then let me see if the client accepts, I will close the case with an apology for losing the client. Para perder al cliente, Ceci. ¿Vale? Para perder al cliente. No, para. Era negativo, lo siento. For not losing the client, Ceci. No para perder al cliente. Ay, lo siento. Ay, Oh, my God. Este, Yuri. Okay, that's the okay. case. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> just copy that you did and paste it because it's time to go. Okay. Yes, right. sure. yes it's time. <laughs> All right, I will see you there. Okay.
Hello, people. Are you there? Monica, are you there, Monica? I'm here. No, I mean, I guess he was there. Now, okay, good. Listen, people, we're gonna do something because basically uh, we have been like, like going out from the, each class very late, but we're gonna do something. Listen, by tomorrow, it, it, it will just be a general feedback as far as I remember about the whole, the whole uh, week, all right? So remember, Para mañana, recordemos, para mañana, básicamente estaríamos terminando con la segunda semana. All right. So mañana we will have a general feedback from all the topics that we are, have been discussing this week. Uh, we are going to let these activities to be checked by tomorrow. Okay. Así que voy a dejar esta, estas tareas que han estado haciendo, revisarlas para mañana al principio de la clase y tomarla como parte de la retroalimentación que vamos a hacer, all right? With the development of the exercises and all those things para no uh, alargarlos y tenerlos por mucho tiempo acá. Ya veo, Mario, que se estás agarrando el cachete, así como que, ah, oh, se me va a caer, dice. All teacher, right, so, teacher. yes. Teacher, este, yo hice una, una, yo mencioné algo ahí en el, en el chat, ¿verdad? pero no sé si lo recibió, si lo logró ver usted de que este, en la segunda tarea de la de la tarea nueve la segunda pregunta este no no permite escribir en los campos no sé really? no sé por qué right. no ahorita, ahorita vamos campo, a checar eso ahorita, ahorita vamos a checar eso ¿Sí? Cristina este para que lo vean todos para ver si es cierto eh, y tratar de solucionar eso okay? no sé si Porque right. intenté varias veces y nada. No sé si solo a mí me pasó eso. All right. Solo vamos a revisar eso antes de irnos entonces, okay? Give me one second. Uy, this is not this cursos. It's not this one. All right. Section two. Por cierto, people, recuerden, mañana finalizamos semana dos. Por lo tanto, Para mañana es hasta la tarea 10 con respecto a las tareas y mañana también, o si lo pueden hacer ahora, sería perfecto, el, el, el midterm exam. All right. Recuerden, ya mañana sería el último día para hacer el examen, el midterm que está ahí. All right. So, which homework was that? Number nine, right? Nueve, Cristina. Oh, this one? Sí, teacher, la nueve. Sí, perdón. Sí, la nueve. Pero en esta aquí puedo escribir, Cristina. Look. En el recuadro de abajo. Entonces... Eh, creo que fue en el meter, que yo sé que yo me he confundido. En... Espérenme que quiero ver cómo le puse en el chat, porque se lo puse en el momento. Porque, para que no porque se... si, si intentó escribir acá, acá Cristina, eh, eh, entonces no, aquí no le va a permitir. Es el cuadrito abajo. Ah, quiero ver bien lo que está haciendo usted, espérenme. Uh, creo que, ajá, correcto, ahí. Uh, ahí Entonces, se es acá abajo, ah, abajo, ahí. abajito, Cristina, all right. Sí, abajito Ese de cada uno. Sí. Ajá, sí. Sí, ahí en esa zona ahí no, no le iba a permitir, ¿ok? Está bien. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ok. Va, mañana voy a tratar de estar un poco más activo con respecto a esos mensajes, por si hay alguna duda con respecto ya sea al midterm o algún otro, ¿ok? All right, so we're just going to pass the attendance list in that case. And that's going to be everything. And we're going to check all this information by tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. So, recuerden, hasta la tarea 10, entonces, uh, para mañana, y el examen, all right? Medio curso. Perfect. So, let's start. Gra Gabriel Esaú, is he here? Present teacher. Hasta all ahorita, right. no llegando. <laughs> ah, día pesado, mister. <laughs> Guadalupe Noemi is not here. Uh, it is Cecilia. 
Present. All right, good. Jorge Ismael. Jorge is not here. Jose Moises. Is it Moises here? Jose, are you there? I am, he's there. But probably he had problem with the audio. Judith Maribel. Present. All right, Carla Ivania. All right, she's not here. Carla Lorena. Present. Nice, Catherine Guadalupe. No, Catherine, no. Kevin Ramiro. We didn't see Kevin today, so she's not here. Maria Elena. No, right, she's not there. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. All right, Mario Ernesto. Present. Sorry, Mario. Desde que toda la pila no está acá de los que he mencionado, you're the next one on the, on the feedback. You're going to stay with me right now, okay? Sorry, mister. Uh, Monica Maricela. No, right, she's, she's there, apparently. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Okay, good. Patricia Guadalupe. I mean, she's there, but as a listener. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Roberto Emilio. Uh, Robert that is connected. Uh, Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Good. And the last one, Jocelyn Stefan. Present. Now, nah, okay. Very good. So, people, you know what to do for tomorrow. If you haven't finished, let's finish that part and see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, people. Bye bye. Good night, good night, bye. Night, good night, everybody. Que tengan buena noche. Mario is going to stay. Bye, Ceci. Good night, Cristina. Bye bye. I'm going to remove these people over here, put in the waiting room, and put in the waiting room. All right, Mario. It's just a couple of questions, Mario. Uh, since you know, this 10 minutes is just for us to discuss what, uh, if you have any questions related to the topics that we have been discussing during the past two weeks, right? Simplemente es para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a pues, estas nueve clases que hemos tenido during out this module. No, 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 no. <laughs> so the topics no. have been have been easy for you, right? No, 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 que sea muy fácil, o sea, eh, <laughs> no right. entiendo si la otra vez la, la aplicación alguna que sea. Ah, no, right. por ejemplo, con, con la pregunta que quería hacer, sí se me Tenía que haber puesto que invertirla. Y, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, simplemente es algo que, pues, estos verbos que hemos estado viendo, pues, son verbos modales. Y recuerde que esos son verbos auxiliares natos. O sea, esos ya no van a necesitar de un auxiliar extra para un negativo. Simplemente poniendo not después de ellos y ya forma un negativo. Entonces, ellos mismos funcionan cuando ya hacemos preguntas. Simplemente se invierte con el sujeto. Y ya inician con una pregunta. Todos los que hemos visto esta semana básicamente son verbos auxiliares. O sea que okay. bien, pueden colocarse en una just no question o information question al principio. Uh -huh. sí. Me confundí un poquito, pero porque como estaba junto con el good like, dije, bueno, <risa> exactly. creo que no podía poner el separarlos porque entendí que iban juntos. Ajá, el, sí, el, sí, con, pensó, con que, like. exactly, pensó ah. que iban juntos y por eso no podía poner el you en medio de los dos. Ajá, correcto, ajá. Ahí, sí, ahí, ahí, me, ahí me, me confundió la mente y dije, bueno, si son juntos, no puedo poner el you. Exactly, entonces ahí, ajá. No, pero en that case, remember, si se puede poner ahí, no hay ningún problema. 
porque like básicamente es como cualquier otro verbo que se coloque ahí. Like will eat, will go, will sleep. All right. okay. Yes, mister. All right. So basically everything is okay in that case. No, I mean, that's good. I'm really glad to hear that in that case. Me alegra escuchar eso entonces, mister. Yeah, I mean, with you, I haven't had any issue uh, when practicing this structure, and that's why it's like kind of easy for you to, to understand the structure and everything. All right. Entonces, Hay que practicar bastante. Exactly. That's what is missing, just the practice. All right. That's what makes us better every time. I mean, the practice. All right. Cool. Entonces, ya solo faltaría el examen. No sé si ya lo hizo o ya está la tarea. Ya, ya lo okay. Perfecto. Entonces, no habría problema ya con usted, entonces, mister. All right. Perfecto. Entonces, si no hay nada más que agregar, lo dejo descansar porque ah, yo sé lo que es andar con eso. Que ya, 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 ya me está ah. pasando el efecto de la pastilla. Entonces, ah, sí, sí, sí. No, entonces, sí, necesita descansar. Entonces, nos vemos mañana, mister. Bueno, right. buenas noches. Sí, good night.